Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to my Andrew Crypto. Today we have Bitcoin Daily Update. We are going to see the next price targets and of course before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Mind Crypto. Thank you so much for watching, have a fantastic day wherever you are. Let's go right now and see what Bitcoin is going to do. So eventually we had the 25.2k that we were talking about for so long right here as a spike off and you can see that if we go in the lower time frames, this was the end of a nice uptrend in the lower time frames at least and at least for now i'm going to explain what bitcoin needs to do in order to get higher or what bitcoin needs to do in order to get lower okay for the time being though you can see that we had constant higher highs higher lows right here that were so so minimized and we were forming continuous bearish RSI divergences. Look at this beautiful thing right here, forming continuous bearish RSI divergences in the 4-hour frame. That meant that Bitcoin had to crash a little bit down into a minus 3.38% in just 4 hours. For the time being, it is holding pretty, pretty nicely the 50-day exponential moving average. At the end of the day, though, I think that the more correction is going to be followed for Bitcoin and of course we are going to see the most important targets for the daily frame and for the weekly frame as well. Going back on the daily frame, I have two important targets right here. The first one is the 23.8k in which was the high back then. We need to hold this and if we manage to succeed and hold this pretty pretty nicely, then we are going all the way upwards. However, I have one more very very important thing to just have a very important support level actually for BDC and that is the case of 23 Point one twenty three k Yeah, this is a very, very huge support level that if we do not manage to hold it on, then ultimately we are going to fall down into the 22k, into lower support levels. Always have that in your mind. Crossing below the 23.1k to 23.2 will get us all the way down to the 22k. For the time being, what I'm seeing on BDC chart right here is... The following one. First of all, in this triangle, and it seems like it was a bullish triangle right here, a bullish pennant, we broke above. But then it seems like this was a fake out right here, and we are going to go a little bit further down. Anyway, for the time being, it looks like we are retesting the top trend line. Okay, this is the first one. So either it is a fake out or we are going to go higher. For the time being, though, this is few times, actually this is just one of the many times that we are going above the 100 in the Komodo Channel Index and therefore it has a very very huge risk to drop down. Uh, the Stochastic RSI is also into an overbought state. The Fisher transform right here the same and I think that in the daily frame the bullish pennant of the RSI pattern seems to be a fake out. In the 4 hour frame right here we saw this correction going on, we haven't seen anything else yet, there is nothing else bearish that we can say, oh, but this is now bearish for sure. The price analysis right here, it looks good. What I mean by that is that we do not have a continuous crash in the one hour frame or so, but at the end of the day, what I'm thinking about is that even if BTC goes up a little bit, if it doesn't hold the 23.8k right here, then it is going to crumble down into this support level and then we are going to have the next support levels as well. Now for the time being into the weekly scale, what we have seen is an uptrend rate right here and this is something that we hold into the 200 moving average. The weekly close was pretty pretty nice, okay it wasn't bad, but at the end of the day I would wait more. Personally, this is what I would do. We do not have a nice nice uptrend right now. And it looks like BDC could be forming right here a nice, very, very nice bear flag. Okay, so most of the people are saying that we are having a bear flag. I would agree with that. Okay, we are forming a bear flag. However, the case right here was that we broke above of a nice bullish pennant. Okay, that's why you saw this uptrend right here. And of course, if this is the case, then we might be getting a little bit further upwards. We will see about that though if we just remain towards this top trend line right here. Then we are going to see Bitcoin going a little bit back up. You can see that we had a nice buying pressure in overall though. 
PDC is looking more bearish than bullish. That's what I'm trying to say right here. And you need to be extremely careful. I think that BTC is going to retest the 23.8K and maybe closing above to get us to the 23 to 23.2K. There, we have a very strong support level and it will be the time where we want Bitcoin to sign. If we cannot manage to hold the 23K, then unfortunately, the problem right there will be that we are going under the 23k into crossing down to the 22k into crossing down to lower support levels this is why we need to see bitcoin right now going a little bit back up the fact that we found such an immediate cross in the 25.2k that we had as a target is a little bit of a disappointment for bdc i didn't expect that bdc would have it anyway though into the lower time frames nothing hugely bearish yet but at the, end the, at the end of the day, we are having many, many bearish moments right here. Many, many bearish RSA divergences that I cannot think that we are extremely bullish for now. If we want to find some next resistance levels right there and on the weekly scale, I will tell you something that I really liked right here. If we go and have the Fibonacci retracement from the top to the bottom, we managed to close a little bit down. So right here, I think that this is why, this is one of the reasons though, that we cannot say that Bitcoin is very, very bullish. And this is the reason why I like it because we have a clear direction that we are going probably down. And the fact that we didn't close above the 24.319 and it stand the closing was 24,305. Look at these numbers right there. The fact here is that we are going to go probably further down, correcting for now. BDC might be having some problems. Closing above though, the 24.3K to 24.4K, you can see the exact number right here. Then we can assume that BDC can manage to pull it off, and go all the way up, even to the 29K. At the end of the day though, we found rejection. We should be a little bit cautious for now. Do not make any huge movements. Please wait a little bit. This market is crazy. And this market is very, very unpredictable. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription and see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.